The latest scientific research shows that coffee may reduce a person's risk of dementia and some cancers. But the strongest research shows that coffee may play a role in treating type 2 diabetes. Well, the research suggests that um, the antioxidants in coffee, maybe the magnesium and uh, chromium in coffee, can de uh, increase someone's resistance to insulin. And this is big for somebody with type 2 diabetes because for someone with type 2 diabetes, this could mean that the insulin in their body could work better. And that's not all. Coffee may actually help prevent the onset of type 2 diabetes as well. It's no secret that as we get older, we become more sensitive to the caffeine in coffee. Most folks my age are up all night if they drink it after 5 p.m. But the real downside to coffee is the stuff we put in it. We know that coffee often goes with heavy cream and a lot of sugar. And those, um, those two substances can pack a lot of calories. For instance, a 24-ounce frappuccino has almost 500 calories. And that's a meal for a lot of people. So keep an eye on the calories when you enjoy that extra cup of joe and listen to your body. If you have trouble sleeping or you feel jittery, cut back. In Morgantown for the West Virginia Health Report, I'm Dr. John Phillips.